Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating with style on a budget and I love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. And one of the ways I do that is by budget decorating. So if you love home decor and you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. So it's springtime, well, not yet, but spring is just around the corner. And as such, I wanna start getting my home ready to welcome in spring. So in today's video, we are going to be cleaning and decorating my entryway. And today's video is sponsored by Yeedy, the Yeedy Robot Vacuum. Yeedy offers a two-in-one mopping, cleaning vacuum at a very affordable price. It has 3000 PA or PSA cleaning suction and it's gonna be your best friend. Like you can be doing something else while the vacuum is mopping and cleaning your floors. Like how neat is that? So let me tell you a little more about the features and we'll get it opened up. All right, as you can see, the vacuum comes neatly packaged in this box. Turn it around so you can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. But whoops, comes in this neat little dust jacket. Take it off. So this is how the vacuum looks. We'll set that there. And it comes with these mopping pads. Has a mopping pad on the bottom, if you can see that, and a little water tank. And then it also has a little recharging station that it can go and charge itself back up. And it also comes with the power adapter. We'll take that out of the way. And let's see. Let's see how this baby operates. I never read the instruction manual, but this one I think we're gonna have to. So it comes with this quick start guide, which you can see here. Let's see. All right, so here is the mopping pad. And this is where you fill it with water. Go ahead and add some water. So that it's filled up. And as you can see, we have filled it up to the water fill level. Now we're going to add it back to the robot. Stick this back in the robot. Switch to vacuum and mopping mode. I like how it talks. And then we have our app on our phone, so we're just going to turn it on. So you can control the robot mop with the app on your phone. You can map your space and select your water flow level, your vacuum power, your cleaning schedule. You can do it all from the app. You can give your robot mop a name. And as you can see, I have named mine Rover One. So mine came with the simple docking station that you have to empty yourself. However, you do have the option of purchasing the self-empty station separately, and you can do that on Yeedy's website. And again, I'll leave the link down below so you can go check them out. And I want to thank Yeedy for sponsoring this portion of today's video. The Yeedy ProVac 2 is the best robotic mop you can find today. 
for less than $300. Make sure you go check yours out now on Amazon. They are featuring a limited deal where you can pick it up for again, less than $300. I'm going to tell you about my plans on how I'm going to decorate for spring. So you guys know my style. I consider myself modern glam. I decorate with black and white. I use green as my accent color, but I also bring in, use a bunch of glass and crystal and silver and chrome. Um, my chandelier here that you can see in the dining room is a big blingy crystal chandelier. I have this real shiny lamp shade that I picked up from, oh gosh, what is it, Ikea. So I love bringing in those luxe textures. So that's what we're going to be doing for spring. Brighten up my family room. So we're gonna be bringing in lots of white, glass, silver, and crystal. So to keep the budget in check low we're going to use things that i have already around the house i told you guys i'm not buying a lot of home decor this year i'm going to use what i have but i want to go to the thrift store to see if i can find some crystal pieces to use in my spring decorating and one of the best places i found that i can get really cheap affordable crystal pieces or really nice cut glass pieces that look like crystal is at the thrift store. So that is what we're going to do today. So we're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna be looking for glass, crystal, uh, shiny metallics, and that luxe look for spring. So if you wanna see how it's gonna turn out, what we find, make sure you keep watching and make sure you subscribe. So let's get going. I really love these little tulip shake bowls. So, so cute. Um, they were only $2. Unfortunately, there are only five of them and I would really need six. This lamp has some really good bones. Reminds me of something that you would see at Pottery Barn. It looks like they have really affordable prices on these lamps. I saw these lamp shades that are a little different. I don't know if I can show you or not. Is that old timey? I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm sure I would be able to clean them up if we had a crystal lamp to go with it that would be awesome these are like two dollars a piece i think there's two of them hmm. so we're back from thrifting so here are the pieces we found thrifting again I want to bring in some modern lux for spring and so to do that I am incorporating glass and crystal pieces to decorate and we're going to use them for spring and summer so the first thing I found was this really cute crystal votive holder it's shaped sort of like a tulip in my opinion it was one dollar so i picked up two of these and they were a dollar a piece this next piece i found i also loved it came from the same booth it was also a dollar it looks like this originally came from target and i don't remember target having anything like this but this is how this looks, very elegant to me. 
And then also I found this crystal bowl. Look how pretty that is. Wait until that's cleaned up. Can you see this all cleaned up with some white roses? Oh my gosh, so pretty. This one was $3.99. I love the sparkle and the glam that it's giving off. So I picked that up. Next were these votive holders. I love the fluted lines and detail on these. This piece actually comes off. This was a pair. They were marked $10 a piece, but that booth was 50% off. So I got both of them for $5, which I thought was a really great deal. So $2.50 for each. Yeah, very, very nice. Once these get cleaned up, they will shine and sparkle. So I have those, and then I also found these. Also has the same ribbed and fluted detail. I don't know, something about flutes to me. I don't know, it's just very elegant and classic. So I picked these up. These say wine glasses, but they're actually candle holders. Because they're set of three tall, medium, and large. So the person had them marked incorrectly, but they were also a dollar a piece. So I pick those up. Very, very nice. And then I also found this bowl. I thought it would be really pretty to hold florals. It's like a ombre silver effect. And it was $1.99. So I thought this would be perfect. Again, bringing in a modern luxe vibe for spring. Whoops. So I pick that up and then I also found, hold on. All right, I also found the silver tray and I thought it would be perfect maybe in the bathroom or to style on the coffee table, but it was, how much were you? $1.25. So all of this really nice stuff at the thrift store. So guys, think outside the box when you're decorating your home. You don't have to buy everything from your high-end department stores. Buy some unique pieces to give your home its own unique feel in your own personality, not Everyone wants their home to look like everyone else's or a showroom of a designer store. So yeah, go out thrifting guys. You can find some really great pieces. So now we're gonna get these all washed and cleaned up and then we'll clean the entryway and start decorating. All right, everything now has all been cleaned up and everything is all nice and sparkly and ready for us to use to decorate. So while we were cleaning our glasses, the little robot vacuum mop has been doing its job and it has got the entryway all clean and mopped and ready for us to decorate. Thank you to Yeedy again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now that our entryway is nice and clean, it's now time to style the console table for spring. So this is how my entryway looked for winter. Absolutely love it and I hate to take it down. I really love these florals that I picked up from Kirkland's. They look so realistic. Uh, but yeah, it's time for them to go and we have to come up with a new look for spring. So that is what we're going to do now. All right, so we are in the Easter season and nothing says Easter more to me than tulips. So I'm going to take away this arrangement and we are going to put together a spring bouquet using tulips for the space. 
We're also going to bring in some of that crystal that I just showed you. And we're just going to create a very simple vignette here in my entryway for spring. But let me show you what we're going to be working with. All right, here are the items we're going to be working with. So I found this like little floral set from Amazon and I had picked this up and I never used it. So we're going to use it today, but I just love the little delicate flowers. I think you would call these like bluebells maybe. So we're going to use these. It came with three of those. We also have these. I think these are called Corcus maybe. I don't know guys. I don't know my the name <laughs> of too many flowers, but I thought these were really pretty. And so we're going to use these. There's three of those. And then we have our tulips. These came from Amazon as well. So if you're interested in any of these, I will leave them linked in the description box down below. Anything that I feature that I say is from Amazon, you can find in my Amazon storefront. Um, I do have the items linked there and I will leave them in the description box, but you can shop there 24 seven. And when you do, I get a small commission. So thank you so much in advance. But these are the florals we're gonna be using. And remember the vase, well, I painted it black. <laughs> I didn't like the silver, so we're gonna use the black vase and I think it will just pop the contrast between the white florals and the greenery. It's just gonna look so, so pretty. And then we are going to use these candlesticks that we thrifted. So, oh, and I think I'm gonna use this candle because it has the same type of fluted detail. I'm just in love with the flute lately. So this is what we're going to be using. So yeah, let's go ahead and put our arrangement together. First, we need to clear out the space. nice and clean and I know I want to keep some of these books here so I'm gonna go back in I think and just stick with my black and white so we have our Tom Ford and our Chanel book so I'm gonna put that back in the center and and I think I want to use these crystal candlesticks on either side. Just look how pretty these are. So, so pretty. So we'll put one here and one here. And then I think we'll do our floral arrangement here in the center. And we're not going to use this book, so that there for now all right so I think first I'm gonna go in with my tulips let me bring you a little bit closer so you can see maybe see that so we're gonna go in with our tulips first and I'm just going to set them in let them droop and cascade I like my tulips to be drapey if that's a word <laughs> I like them to drape over my vases so 
that is how that's looking. I love the contrast of the black and the green with the white. So then let's go in with our little bluebells. And again, I want them to stick out and we don't have enough to do north, south, east, and west. So we're just gonna do south, east, and west. Because I want the volume to be more toward the front. And then we'll go in with these pretty flowers again. I think they're called corcus or corcus, I don't know. But I like them, they're so, so pretty. Again, they came from Amazon and I will leave those linked down below. And then we'll stick this one right here in the middle. And there we go. A very pretty yet simple spring floral arrangement. Perfect for Easter. So let's take a closer look. So here is the final look and I absolutely love it. It is very simple and like I said, perfect for spring. I don't want to go, you know, too over the top. I do like to keep things pretty simple here in the entryway. And I think it's the perfect introduction to my guests as they come in for Easter. So again, these florals are from Amazon. I will leave them linked down below. We have our thrifted glass pieces. These candle holders are so, so pretty, guys. I absolutely love them. Again, think outside the box when you're decorating your home. Your home does not have to look like everyone else's. Go out and find some unique decor that you have thrifted to give your home its own unique feel and vibe. I just absolutely love the way they look here. Now don't mind the back of my wall. I do notice that there are some scuff marks on the wall, so we'll have to go um, here pretty soon and do a touch up on the walls for spring to give it a little refresh. So don't mind that, but look how pretty the floral arrangement is. And the flickering light, oh so pretty from our crystal or it's probably glass but we're gonna say it's crystal candle holders our little fluted candle we got from tuesday morning it was 7.99 so 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 pretty so these were two for ten at the booth that i thrifted them from but there was 50 but there was 50 percent off so i got them two for five so they were 250 a piece and just look how pretty they look so stunning very elegant and classic to me and that is the look that i am going for for spring and summer so if you have enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new here welcome my name is cheryl i love decorating with style on a budget and one of the ways i do that is by thrifting and as you can see our thrifted pieces look absolutely stunning and i hope you agree 
So if you have not yet subscribed and you are looking for some budget friendly home decorating content, then this is the channel for you. So I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. Again, I would like to thank Yeeny for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I will leave that linked as well in my Amazon storefront. You can also find it at Walmart and on their website, yeedy.com, and I'll leave a link for that down below as well. So with that, my friends, let's take one last look at the arrangement, and I hope to see you in the next one.